Hi everyone, Siege back here with another Rector video for today's recording session. So we just finished, oh well, I just finished uh, doing the uploads for the previous Rector runs that we have. And currently we had some very good ones and some very bad ones. Now we're jumping into Stygian. Um, This is another, I would say... An ideal clan combo for Rector or yeah for Rector because Rector doesn't really play well with four gun powers. Although you would see a synergy here of blue colors, sorry. <laughs> Not really the blue colors, but zero cost cards actually. So we save a lot of ember with this clan combination, Exile Stygian, because the four gun powers are free. Uh, you can play the dregs for free as well. So, although dregs are not spells, so incans are not unlocked in this clan combination. So, it's kind of in the air uh, about the synergy between these clan combos in terms of the starting cards. However, incant-wise, I don't think it's going to be an incant line here. It's going to be a hard incant line with this set up. But... It's probably going to be a basic melting run, I'm guessing here. So the only way to find out is to jump into the run. So again, leave a like or a dislike if you enjoy this type of content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And let's jump right in into another Rector run. I like our starting cards, by the way. Default melting in Exile Stygian. Against Plating Seal Daedalus, Curse, Incant Arcus, and again, another Patient Seraph run. I just had one before this with the Woken. And now we have another rematch with the Patient guy. We are starting off with another good set of cards. Wicklash for Scaling and Burnout Management. Flash Freeze for Ping, because Melting does not have a Ping outside Subsuming Blade, which is an uncommon card. And Memento Mori is back here again. I had this in the previous run. It's not a very good card, guys. It rarely does something, but sometimes it does it well. Um, One death is 10 damage, basically. So it could ramp up fast enough. Maybe it's helpful. Maybe it has a chance this run. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, good starting. We have Divine Boons at our starter, which means we can basically purchase anything here and probably reroll. Temple count is 1, 2, 3, 4 temples, 8, 5, 6, and 3. Again, I do like the setup of having either 1 and 4 or 1 and 5 because you avoid the death uh, with the High Priest here. And you power up for Crystal Cloak at ring 5. So mid games is very important here. Ring 8, Steel Shop has the Vent and the Vortex. Means the Magic Shop is dead. Magic Shop on ring 7 is very good. Which I'll probably visit. Horde, Magic Shop, Vortex. Steel Shop is not far off with the Caverns in itself. So both are decent on ring 7. You have another steel shop on ring 6, which is bad, coupled with a very good magic shop on ring 6, Caverns and Vortex. So we will be probably able to remove some cards in the deck here. It's not going to be a big one. Is all of the vortices are aligning with shops we do want to visit. You have very good removal on ring 5 with Cave and Helven, another good vortex positioning. Trinket Shop, Fire Mains, Horde, No Money in Sight. Ring 4, I like this removals. This is a very good removal seed. Horde, Money, Health, not so good. Magic Shop, Stitch, and Vortex, awesome. Good, I like it. So, 5 Vortices from Ring 4 are all in good positions. I like what I see here. Third, Hellvent. Is on ring 3 with the Remnant Banner opposite the Steel Shop with the Stygian Banner. We have Magic Shop Money, Forced Remnant Banner as mentioned. It's probably a Remnant line here. Maybe we see a Shark. Don't know if I'll be able to use the Hellvent on ring 3. 
Let's start checking our stuff then. For today is... Hmm, spell weakness. I think I'll take that over the cleansing water here. I like that totem fragment. It opens up a lot of Stygian spell lines, which we do want to see. I think I'll grab the money here. And our champion today is... We have Burnout Rector. Hmm. If Burnout Rector dies, I think I'm okay for the reason of... 22 cards if I miss. Don't draw a wick lash by turn 3. He perishes. I think I have a high chance of seeing that. Let's take Burn Bright Rector again here. You at least want 1 re Burnout Extension or 2nd Reform to take Burn Bright Rector, I think. And we have one of those, so we're taking Burn Bright Rector here. Spikes. Spikes. We can manage backline well. I think we can take this trial without major issues. We also have Totem Fragment on top floor, so this should be fairly manageable. I do like the Wicklash on Rector, turn 1. Highly appreciated. I play a Dreg in the back, Train Steward in middle for Gunpower downstairs. Okay, we miss out on the Collector, unfortunately, here. We play double Train Steward, extend Burnout on... Hmm... On... Rector? He slams for 70. I need to deal with the back line there. So let's grab ourselves a train steward that does not die. I think I should have played the wick lash though. It's my, it's my bad there. I'll hold on to the other drag. Might get punished with that. Okay, I can play a wick. A flash freeze here. I will chump block here in front. I will flash freeze one in the back. Play double dregs here and four gun power. Good. Okay, we clear top floor. Good. Let's take out the back unit here. Play a train steward for gun power downstairs. Hoping to see another born out extender. We see both of them. Good. Flash freeze on the boss. And we should clear ring one here, no problem. Yep, no major problems here. I could even have played Memento Mori, but I did not need to. Okay. Easy ring one. Rector is a beast in our early game. Um, I do want stealth here. I think with patient, stealth is a very big solution there. Let's snap that in. A second flash freeze, energy siphon, titan's gratitude. Don't feel like I want those cards. Mm. Yeah, I'll skip. I think this is a skip. Okay, first remnant line. I suppose. Yep. Going. Checking. Quick. Burnout 1. Take that. Definitely. Let's check our remnant banner here. We have a paraffin enforcer. Snap that in. Do I want quick? With stealth, I don't feel like I need it. I will snap in... Plus 25 and spin this. Okay, we have survivability solved. No problem. We just have to find a multi strike somewhere. So I'll probably hunt this steel shop coming up. Do I need a dupe for anything? 
maybe the molten encasement, but I don't think it's super necessary to do that. Could just be a self-infused paraffin enforcer as well. Might have to take space on this run. Hmm. Am I doing an infusion here? Probably... Uh, probably not. Unless I see a draft. If that's the case, I should open myself up to possibilities coming up. Hmm. What's that possibility? Seeing upgrades, I would take a tenon piercing into flash freeze. Intrinsic is a bit questionable. Wicklash could be a candidate for that. Hmm. Plus 30. Spell chain is takeable as well. I think with all of the possible things I could grab in this temple, I'll skip this horde here. Won't take it. Move on. The unit draft. I think I'll check this out then. Good. Okay, we can manage this. Okay. Let's get the train steward killed downstairs, I think. We play Rector into Enforcer. How much damage is this? This is kind of a lot of damage, I suppose. I think I need to take care of the front guy here. Yes. Severely reduces the damage of that line. I do leak someone here, which is a bit concerning. Nothing I can do about that. I take five. I guess it'll drop double train steward middle. Get a kill in the bottom floor. Take five. Okay, I have stealth. Okay, the problem here is Rector does burn out. I did not connect with my Wick Lashes, so this might be a bit of a concern for us. Which means I might have to play into Dregs. I might have to play into Dregs here. Pretty unfortunate circumstance here. Hmm, yeah, play double dregs here. Cool. Can I secure the kill top floor here? Hmm, it's the encasement. But wait, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Forget power. Okay, I think we can get the kill here. Good. Play Wick Flash. Play Dreg. Play Flash Freeze and Forgan Power. Okay. Managed to get out of it without dying, even if Rector did not survive. It's definitely the draft here. It's a snap click for us. Don't think I want the offering token, but I will take a helical crystallis. Play swell into Totem Fragment. Hmm. Now, this is weird. I am given an Icy Cellophite. Icy Cellophite plays well with Strike. Hmm. Yes, that's something. I do have stealth, which means I think Rector is out of the floor now. I do have to manage burnout though. Which means I need to draw into one of the wick lashes early on. Could do a self-infuse. 
enforcer, but I don't think that's correct. The draft is a good take. The good thing about the draft is I can put it inside the enforcer. The problem with that is burnout management. One way to solve that is to do it in reverse. Put the enforcer into draft that I have three hits or sorry, three burnout, which should maybe give me enough time to connect into my wick lashes because currently I don't have any reforms. So if my unit burns out like how Rector did, I can't bring them back. I could pick up the Icy Silophyte here and since he doesn't have, she doesn't have burnout, I can scale her and then use Enforcer as a tank to scale her damage. I think I need to pick up the Icy Silophyte here. Yes, I will pick her up. Okay, that gives us options. Um, the extra draw and divine winged steel is important, I think. Let's take it. Hmm. Okay, the dupe can increase the density of Wicklash. I don't think this it's molten encasement dupe. I don't think it's the density issue that we need to solve. It's the burnout issue we need to solve. I could find one of the ladies here. But I think chasing the steel shop is a lot better. Knowing if I hit on a multi-strike there is critical. It's not a straightforward draft enforce uh, draft infor infused into paraffin enforcer. Because again, burnout management. We don't have a way to bring them back. So, if I find multi strike, I think I put it on the silophyte. And then I guess I wait for the whiplash scaling. I did mention we have a lot of removals in this run. So, we could slim this deck down. To what is important. But the question is, do I need a dupe for anything important here? I could increase the density of Wicklash, but there's still a possibility of me not hitting any of them in a 27 card deck. Let's go right here. Do we get blessed with a multi strike? Yes, we do. What do I have here? No intrinsic. I do have a minus two. And a Tenon Piercing that I did mention I might take. What is in the Stygian Banner? I suppose. Maybe a Shark? So. How do we manage this line? I could... Put a Sweep. Burnout 1. On the Silophyte, she'll have how much HP at that point? Hmm. I don't think the Infusion of Baron provides HP, right? No, just Burnout. So my Silophyte would have 3 Burnout. She sweeps and scales on Strike. Which is also good. And then I can scale with the wick lashes to help out. I clean up the deck to draw faster into my units. Or basically into my spells. Which is basically wick lash. Yeah. So infusion... And then the 10. What's in here? Oh, there's a nameless siren here. 
Ah, uh, scaling with rage, I don't think it's good. I think I'm slow into the siren scaling. Definitely skip here. So, what's the play here? Burnout 1 on Silophyte with multi strike. Infuse Paraffin Enforcer to give her additional burnout. Put it up to 3. And then pray to God I draw into the encasement ASAP as well as the scaling. Now. Hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, I basically have the same Rector problem. If Rector dies, then if I don't draw into the units, I'll have 130 gold. I can't even remove a card to improve my density. Now, what's the other way to do this? I could put the multi-strike into the enforcer, put a draft in, but that's bad. I could put the... I could put the enforcer into the draft. But that draft has 5 HP. Yes, 3 burnout. I could extend it to 4 and then add a multi-strike. No HP here. Again, if that unit dies, I am toast. What's the best play here? Winged Steel should help me get through this, actually. So, can I play into this? Well, I'm infusing the Enforcer, so I reduce my hand size down to 26. Yeah, I think this should work. Let's play into this. Don't have enough gold to go remove one unit, fortunately. I infuse the Enforcer into Silophyte. I now have three burnout. Grab the Ten Piercing and Flash Freeze. And this is everything we can do right now. Check the caverns. What do we get? Ooh. I like... Hmm. What do we purge here? I think we purge one of the Forgan Powers. Or is it one of the Train Stewards? Eventually, I still remove the train stewards in this run. So, I guess I remove a train steward. Because this way, it can help me manage the upcoming combat. Yes. So, now the goal is to slim the deck down so that we have a higher probability of seeing... Burnout extenders as soon as possible. So the removals I did mention coming up is important to secure the victory in this run. Okay, let's move. Okay. Okay, no burnout extender yet. Let's Oh yeah, I forgot about Winged Steel. We have that now. We play... Organ Power downstairs. Good. I need to draw into my... Okay, we did not draw into anything. I will be able to play... Okay, let's be careful about the Winged Steel. Because if we don't have Ember to use the spell we draw, that's not good. Let's play Train Steward and Draft here. 
Good. Don't trigger winged steel there. Okay, all of my units are burning out. That's bad. Unless I can draw into a good thing. Play train steward here. Should save at least one ember, maybe two. Mm hmm. Dragon front. Play a four gun power here. Okay, we did not draw into what I was mentioning. This is concerning. I guess I have to rely on the train steward and other stuff to win. This is scary. Maybe if I reset this round, I don't play both of them. Okay, I draw them this turn, which is not good. I basically can win with Helical Crystallisis. Yeah, it's a spell win, I guess. Okay, nothing I can do about this. Can we still win? That's the big question. I think I need to play Flash Freeze here. And the second one. Ooh, that Memento Mori might just save my run. Okay, taking some hits. Hmm... Molten encasement. Stand. I should connect to the other Wicklash. Good. The goal here is to kill that foot soldier. I need to kill the guy on top as well. Good. Hopefully I draw into Memento Mori here. Don't play anything. Okay. This is concerning. <laughs> um, Flash Freeze, I guess. Okay, we we'll lose here, definitely. Yeah, we we'll lose here. Okay. Yeah, we did encounter the problem that we had. Okay, so don't play both of them is the thing, I guess. Unless I can draw through faster, which I think I tried to do. Wait, did I? Yeah, I tried to. L let me do this again. Um. Okay, can we draw into it? Um, draft, train steward. Maybe I need to gamble this. Yeah, I guess I need to gamble this. I need to draw into it. Please. Um, I'll still try. I see the tomb. I clear top floor, I guess. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, this is a problem. I think I put myself in a tough spot. Let's start flash freezing the boss, I guess. Or I don't think... Is that good? 
Slash freeze in the back here. For gun power. Okay. Train steward on top. This one works. I could protect him so that he kills that guy. Yep. There you go. Okay, this might just work. Need to kill that protector so I can connect on the boss. Lay here. Flash freeze. I guess I do this. Oh no, I drew into the Memento Mori. Okay, how about this? This, this. Okay. Still no. Still a big no. Oof. This mid game is concerning. So maybe I don't play the silo fight yet. I'll just play the rector. Hmm. Maybe I don't play them at all yet. I play them on the second draw through. Maybe just the Silophyte? Yes. I guess that's a solution. Yeah, that's a solution. I've seen that in network before um draft train steward here for gun power i play train steward top floor for gun power here good okay chomp block upstairs we clear this floor. Good. Um, play drag. Play flash freeze. Play encasement. Organ power. Good. We can now play double wick flash upstairs. Single, actually. Mm hmm. Play this. Play flash freeze. Play drag. Okay. Play this. Play the wick flash again. Can't manage that. Good. This is a lot better. I think this can win. Okay, I do see Rector here. Um, I play him downstairs here. Flaps in a good number. Yeah, 290 is a decent number. And I think the train steward can carry this remaining. Yeah, Memento Mori saves the day. Ooh, okay. That is a concern. I guess weakless recruitment can be a thing. Well, I think it's remnant pack here. That solves some things. Don't think I need any of these. I skip. And I definitely want draw power here. Go to the magic shop here. Hold over. Definitely goes into a wick lash, I think. With a minus one. And that's basically everything I can do on that shop. Let's cut some cards. Cut train steward one and two. 
champion says I guess I need to take Dark Calling Rector. Have some reform. Um, these are skips. Do I need to take the money? No. We move on. Okay, we do get a holdover card. Yeah, this guy is scary. The plus six is also scary. Let's turn this off. As much as I want the money, I want to stay alive. Hmm. Who gets the endless here? Silophyte? I think I play it this way. Yep. That is decent. I mean, she does die downstairs, but I think that's fine. I can reform her upstairs. Kill this scary friend. Okay, we get the collector. Good. I see encasement into endless. Extend burnout. We should properly set up upstairs now. Good. Yeah, it's just a matter of connecting the dots properly. We still need to improve the density of burnout extenders here. Encasement, draw power. Could have saved Rector, but I don't think I need to anymore. Good. They need... She needs to go up ASAP. Good. Goes up directly. I have enough stuff to win. Good. Okay. Amazing. So, solve the problem we currently have. Reform. Targeted reform is good. Already have stealth. I don't think I need this card. So let's skip. Let's not take anything unnecessary here. Do cards? Um, yes. Removals are appreciated here. Plus 30 is... No. Infusion, no. Yeah, no, not taking anything from that. Let's remove final train steward here. And I guess one of the four gun powers because it gets in the way. I'll probably move two of them eventually. Cavern says extra ember. Um, do I need extra ember for this? I guess because of the molten encasement. Adds two blight cards. I already have problems managing my stuff. I don't think I'm taking this. I'll skip. I don't. I need to make sure I draw into my burnout cards ASAP. The dupe here is maybe the wick lash i don't want to hold over wick lashes i only need to see one maybe i see second encasement two copies of this is good density purpose i only play one once i see the other 23 6 12 18 Need to cut that deck down even more. Maybe I just increase the density of the Wicklash. Because I have reforms now. Yes, I can bring my units back. I have reform. Yeah, I, I already solved the problem. So, I guess I get second encasement now. To avoid 
problems in that area. So we can get to 100 shards, right? 60. Here. Upgrades. I can do infusions. Yeah, this is good enough. 45 is comfortable here. Let's move on. Let's not take extra shards that we don't need to. Mark of Invasion is a bit concerning, but I think we can manage this. Okay, turn one Wicklash. Thank you. Molten Encasement as well. It's gonna be a good turn one here. Let's reduce the number of the enemies from middle floor. Good. And this is just play encasement until we win. Wicklash on top. Good. Let's give Rector some burnout next turn. Yes, definitely. Let's not let him burn out. Flash freeze here. Good. Play you here. Then burn out on Rector. Flash freeze on the bigger guy. Good. Yep, the scaling is fast here. Okay. Good. Yeah, basic combat here. I will click an endless into my unit here. Just to ensure that he doesn't die to random stuff. I actually also need to solve that. Um, he's not good with spikes. How do I solve that problem? Good. And then we should win this. Yeah, I have enough stealth to win. Good. Okay. Um, Remnant host. Do I need harvest? No. Second, reform. Let's take a ping. No, we have pings. We skip. Don't take cards we don't need. Unnamed Tome is a card we do need. So let's take it. Amazing. Let's go to the magic shop again. Yes. We get a spell chain here. That's another plus 30 I don't need. Removals. That's got one more for gunpower. And one dreg, I think. Yeah, one dreg. Caverns. What do we have? Well, that solves the survivability problem. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'll take the 25 HP. Yeah, that solves the survivability problem I was referring to. Okay. Double stack. I think I will double stack one of the wick lashes. So that extends burnout on one of them a little better. 20 consume on Memento Mori. Spin this. Remove consume. Hmm. Do I need to remove consume on the name tome? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll put that there. Um. Do appreciate this card quite a lot. And I could actually remove another card here. Let's make sure we do so. Let's cut another dreg. Yeah, it's another slim deck here. Just like the previous run I had. Um, hmm, 45. Let's just check our numbers here. I have infusions I could do. So I could do... 
45, 70, 85. I can take either upgrades from there. Spell chain is in the pool. Spell chain plus 30. I think I'll just grab this into the piercing flash freeze. And move on. I could purge a spell if I really wanted to. But I don't think we need to do that right now. Let's move on. Maybe I do purge a for gun power. Let's do so. Okay, we're good. Moving on. Okay, good. We drew into a burnout extender. I love it. Enforcer, Rector, Paraffin. Mm. Silence. Um, I'll gamble here. Good. I mean, I wanted the burnout extension in case I miss. Well, I did find the other one, so misses are not a thing anymore. Let's get unit skilled, I guess. Oh no, I just gave myself two curses. Okay, that was silly of me. Good thing I can still play my cards. Okay, this is... A harvest floor. Let's play this guy downstairs. Drop this into the boss. Extend burnout. Okay. Good. This is incant trigger. Drag downstairs for gun power cuts. Okay. Draw you. Stand. Drag. That memento mori is hard to remove. This is an incant floor, so let's do this. Here. Okay, good. That guy slaps hard. Let's play encasement. Let's bring back Rector. And Burnout in the back. Good. Okay, we won. This is a win in our books, guys. This is a win. Okay. Good job. Well played. Okay, it's just that mid game, early game combat that really whiffed that. There's the best burnout extender we could find. Take that. It's also a damage scaler. Let's play into more card draw here. Hmm. More magic shop. Basically, freeze, remove, consume, wax, and spike is also good. Yeah. Don't think I need a steel shop for anything. I'll take mark of a champion. Another holdover. I won't take that. Flash freeze, sure. Minus one on. I don't know what card. Play flash freeze. Removals here. I wanna save. Maybe I just remove memento more. It's hard to play, it's like a curse. And maybe remove one more for gun power. Could cut another guy. 
My deck is ultra slim. Am I kicking shit on myself in the foot here? Hopefully not. I'm slinging down as much as I can. Guild marker, jack strips, clears damage shields, hammered chest plates. No, let's take jack strips here. Suddenly use more useful than the others. Let's play burn bright too. And let's move on. Okay, we're blaze um trying to blaze through the rest of this combat. Spikes. I think I can manage spikes because I can reform my units. And I should draw fast enough to my deck that I don't have any major problems here. Sweeper, sweeper gets the endless. I start to scale her. Do this. Okay. Good. We draw into our stealth tomb. Amazing. How do I snipe the collector? Do this. I don't get to snipe the other one. Do this. Extend burnout on you. Play the waxen spike. No, don't play the waxen spike yet. Okay, good. Play this. First out. Then burn out on Rector. Get a unit killed. Good. Hmm. Boom. Scaling. Blast here. Okay, you connect. Um, let's play the drag so that the organ power can discard a card. We take one curse. Okay, we play into Wicklash here. Tomb. We Helical. Drop a drag. We take ooh, a lot of curse hits. Unfortunately, that just has to be this combat here. Okay, drop the encasement, wicklash, wicklash, we're not extend. Okay, <laughs> I need to play this a little better. Maybe play downstairs? Can I play downstairs here? I think I can. Yeah, I should have played bottom floor here. Good. Yeah, this one avoids the curses by a lot. Um, play the tomb upstairs. Um, flash freeze this guy. Do this. Extend burnout on everyone. Good. Okay, that die guy should die soon enough. Good. Get my Silophyte back. She does lose her scaling though. Hmm. Okay, at least I avoid the curses though. Mm hmm. I'm fine with that lady dying. Okay, I take a hit. Good. Or not, not good. Um, how do I deal with the guy upstairs? Flash freeze. Play this guy. Play you. Flash freeze. Extend burnout. 
try to get the kill middle floor okay we deal 600 here stealth um do this do this um we're almost there i think we get it next turn yes i think we do Okay, good. We win. Amazing. Ooh, a bit of a bit of a dicey situation there, but we managed. We want another memento mori, no? Ooh, guardian stone is here. Can I fit him on the floor though? No. No, we don't take him. Skip. I think I definitely get a second icy silophyte. Put Rector elsewhere. Plus 30 magic power. Infusion. Intrinsic. Hmm. Endless. Hmm. How do I close this combat out? Okay, game does give me lightstone casing and firestone housing. Okay, Lightstone Casing gives me hold over on Icy Silophytes um, Wicklash, which is, I think, good. I scale her effectively turn 1. The multi mm. Maybe I give her another Hearthstone? Or maybe just another Multi-Strike. Can I grab both of them? 200... 440? Okay, we have to consider which one is more important now. I think with having Rector on Reform, I should be able to get my units back as soon as possible hmm so i think i intrinsic on the remnant pack to put that on rector so he tanks the melee weakness from divinity Which is at me to 95. Let's cut the last two dregs. I think. Yes, definitely cut them. I have a multi strike in the shop. That should scale my silicide a lot faster. Oh no, I can't take. Okay, good job. We can't take the multi strike because. A unit can take another upgrade because of the plus HP. Good. So, with that out of the way, it's definitely going to be Pyrestone House. Sorry, Lightstone Casing then. Which means I could take the Intrinsic. on the scaling card I think that was a mistake actually still did it anyways 
Because what I'll do is I'll just get a second copy of this lady right here. Okay. Plus 30. We'll skip this one. If I do an infusion, I go to 135. I don't think I want to do that. I could take the plus 30. And slap it into someone. Remove. <laughs> remove the last. Yeah, remove the last four gun power with our money. Good. Now I can take this upgrades. Well, I could. I'll slap you some upgrades. You're fine. And then we take the plus 30 into this big flash freeze and i think we can move on with this setup 17 cards is a very quick redraw we should see our solution cards asap yeah nice deck okay i'll do this by playing first enforcer endless and then second i scale the one in the back and then blast you rector is not gonna be part of this run i hopefully should see something else let's put hmm I'll put you here. I'll scale you. Um, silence. Patient. Drop. A helical crystallis. No, I'll drop this guy here. Okay. I should see my stealth tomb now. Good. And now from this point, I think we should win. I am going to play with Clash in the back. Burnout extend. Okay, good. This should win now. Yeah, it's just a matter of upgrading and getting my stealth tomb in. And then landing as many flash pieces as we can on the boss. Good. The other one is there for the purpose of scaling the other one a bit faster. Good. Now we scale ASAP. I'm basically seeing the same cards over and over again now. Good. One unit in. Stand. I guess I could get Rector killed. It doesn't be get drawn as part of the draws okay scale scale the other one don't let it die good scale stand burnout in the back Silence, blast, good. Yep, it's a victory. A victory we earned for ourselves here. Good. This should be the same for Divinity then. And probably quicker. Because he's not moving from floor to floor. Okay. I can do this pretty fast actually. What one? Okay. 29 HP. I see myself doom turn 2. Could have seen it turn 3, but we would have been fine either way. Good. 
Red. Scale this. Hmm. Stand burnout on everyone. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, stealth tomb drops. I think I flash freeze the spikes. Out. Okay. Swings are coming in. Let's play Stealth Tomb in. Let's silence chains. Get to the curse. One is gonna get reformed. Good. Okay, let's drop you. Drop the other one in the back. Start scaling. We're killing units that we don't like. Let's start scaling the other one because he needs to heal survive. We'll probably, this other guy might die in front. So I'll focus my efforts on the one that did not get away. Good. The scaling is fast enough that we don't need to worry about this. Good. You got the kill. Good job. Ha. Ah. Strong. We're strong today. We're seeing all the lines possible to win. Except that mid game there. Um. Yeah, um, altering the way we play that um, secured us the victory there. Okay, run summary real quick. So basically, uh, we identified that the removals are going to be a lot in the run. So I guess the mid game where we struggled a bit um, having our units burn out before we look for the... Where we pick up the wick lashes, we just had to play that a little differently than usual, and we did manage to win. Um, we had a very sli slim deck here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, a seventeen card deck, which was just filled with all of the goodness. Um, I guess this run takes the a slim deck title. Finally, I wanted to do that in the previous run, but. This is a lot slimmer than that. Could have been a lot slimmer if I did not remove consume the unnamed tome and maybe just got a little more cards. But I do believe all of the cards we have here are essential to the victory. So we're taking our fourth win for Rector. Six more to go before we move on to Spine Chief. So leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, guys, remember siege today thank you very much for watching